Hello and welcome to another video in the resource dump series. So one thing I would like to touch on a bit when it comes to dealing with narcissists or narcissistic people is the cult like system they build around them. Now I won't go into too much detail as there's a nuance to it that varies depending on the type of narcissist or narcissistic person you're dealing with. But I do believe it's important to touch on a bit as it's a pillar of narcissistic abuse and understanding they can save you a lot of pain, trauma, and maybe even your life. So it's well known fact that abusers surround themselves with people who are either complicit with or actively take part in their abuse. And a common tactic they use is triangulation, where they essentially abuse you through proxy. So if you know for a fact that someone around you is highly narcissistic, it's safe to assume that everyone around them is either consciously or unconsciously complicit with their abusive behavior. Now, the important thing to understand about this is that they use these people to reach you. So everything with them is a setup. No matter who it is or how close you think you are with them, they're trained by the narcissist to either gather information on you or abuse you, whether you're aware of it or not. Like I said, again, it don't, doesn't matter who it is or how close you think you are with them. If that narcissist got to them and conditioned them uh, the way that they want them to be, essentially, to abuse you, that they will abuse you. Um, and it's, I'm, it's still something that I'm trying to process myself and understand uh, completely, to be honest. And trying to judge everything about my situation still. Um, because in a sense, it's like they're conditioned to kind of be against you. So it's not entirely conscious, it's, but it's still like a certain amount of accountability that kind of has to be held there. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, so that, <laughs> basically, if you find yourself in a situation, just go no contact, heal, and... You know, things naturally happen as they're supposed to happen. Um, I do believe it's important to note that in some cases you can reconcile, make it out with, and or reason with one or two people who unintentionally took part in the abuse. But, like I said, it's like a huge risk factor that you have to take with extreme caution. Because the manipulation and the conditioning is very real. That being said, I'll link some additional resources down below. That explains in some more detail and how to go about handling these situations. As always, until next time.